How's going on everybody? I hope you all are doing good and welcome to another video of deploying the machine learning model on the Android app. So in this video, we are going to create an Android app which can recognize the images. It means if you show the image of dog, it is going to show the category of the dog and if you show cat, then it will going to tell you the category of the cat or breed of the cat and if you show the banana and it is going to tell you that this image is of banana and so on it can predict 1000 categories it's a lot of okay so we are going to do that uh, we are not going to create the model because we have already available on this website tensorflow light website uh, you can come over here i will link it down description once you come over here uh, if you scroll down there you see download starter model so if you click on this it will going to download the model for you i have already downloaded so i'm not going to do that so once you have downloaded the model let's just do one thing let's place this model on the desktop so i can just copy it and paste it over here okay now let's just extract this model and if you extract this you can see it has two files Okay, so it has two files. One is this TF Lite model itself and another is the labels. It means all the categories of the 1000 categories, okay, in short. So let's start. So obviously you need Android Studio. If you haven't installed latest version of Android Studio, make sure you have latest version installed. Once you do that, let's create new project. Make sure you choose empty activity and give the name whatever you want. Let's say image record and uh, make sure you choose Kotlin language and click finish okay so now we are in Android studio and it has built everything successfully and this is the front end part of our app and this is the back end part of our app so in the GUI we will have one image view and two buttons one button for selecting the image and another button is for predicting the uh, category of the image so and also we will also have the text view to show the final result or predicted results so for now let's just delete this uh, text view we will add another uh, later on so first let's just add this image view okay so now we will add the constraints to it so for adding the constraint just hold this uh, on this circle left mouse button and hold until you reach the bottom and just leave the button and similarly do for this left and right also and let's add this image view to the top of this something like this so here is our image view similarly add the buttons okay this is our first button and this is our second button we will add constraints later on okay so let's just first change the text of it so you can uh, come over here and click on this search icon and search for text and once you click on this let's say select click enter and similarly choose this button let's drag this to over here and similarly search for text and let's change this to predict uh, let's now add the constraints to it so hold the button something like this okay so now finally add the text view something over here and finally add the constraint to it horizontally constraint and vertical constraint okay that's it let's just uh, maximize this a little bit yeah one thing i would like to change is the size of this text let's just search for size and uh, uh, once you come on this text size let's change to 24 sp click enter and you should see something like this and also let's just change the initial text to let's say select and press predict okay that's it uh, this is it for front end part uh, make sure you add constraints perfectly and that's it for front end part and now let's just add our model and the labels file so for that let's click on this file button and click new and come to the below and you should see other uh, tab click on this other and click tensorflow light model once you click on this uh, you choose this file folder option once you click on that uh, take this uh, location to wherever you have downloaded or extracted the file tf light file 
in my case it's on desktop and it is over here let's click on this and click ok and now click finish once you do that it will going to take some time to build the model once again and your model should be imported okay that's it now we will add our label so once again uh, come to file icon then new okay so once you click on file new and click on folder and click on assets folder okay so now click on finish and you should have assets folder uh, once it is built we will import the labels to that assets folder okay so let's just do that now go to this project uh, bar in the left side and uh, in in the java you should see this assets folder okay so let's just uh, minimize uh, two simple names because we will have to type this once again in the backend part so we will just name this to label.tx click on this image and copy this image by either pressing ctrl c or right click and then copy then come back to assets folder right click on over here and uh, click on paste or ctrl plus v so now press refactor and your uh, labels.txt should be imported over here that's it for our front end part okay so now we will code the back end part so we will come over here main activity.kt okay so first of all we will uh, add the functionality of this select button so we will create a variable for button which is select button so we will say where select is equals to uh, obviously we will specify it over here let's say it's of type button and it is equals to uh, so if you see red over here click on this and click alt plus enter on this and click again enter to import the class button that's it and now we will say find view by id okay something like this and now we will search for button so for searching we will say r dot id dot uh, okay button so in this case we want to select this button and the id of this button is button so that's why we will uh, be choosing button not button 2 because button 2 is for predict okay so now we will say select dot set on click listener and in this we will say view dot on click listener all right so now in this we will create the intent okay so we will create a variable called intent and it's of type intent and we will uh, initialize it by saying intent class calling the intent class and in this we will pass action get content so it is really simple we'll say intent dot action get content uh, once again if you see uh, red over here click alt plus enter on this okay so now we'll say intent type intent dot type is equals to and in this case it's of type image so we'll say image slash asterisk okay so now we will start the activity of this intent so we'll say start activity for result and in this we will pass this intent and the code okay so let's say if the code is 100 it could be integer value okay so now uh, once the user selects the image it will going to call a function so we have to override that function in order to store that image to a variable called bitmap okay so we'll uh, initialize the variables over here sorry declare the variables over here so we'll say late in it where and first variable will create bitmap and it's of type bitmap okay once again we will create another variable for image view so we'll say img view and it's of type image view okay so now once uh, this on create function is called we will initialize these variables over here so we'll say image view which is img view is equals to find view by id and we'll search for resources dot id dot and it is image view that is it now we will override the function okay so we will uh, come out of this on create function and we will come in this class and the function we are going to override is this one so we'll say override fun on activity result okay so this is the function we are going to override and we will say once the user selects the image change the image view image to the selected image okay so we'll say img view dot set image uri something like this and in this we will pass this data dot data 
Okay, so now once the user selects the image, it is going to replace this image view to the selected image. Okay, now we will also have to store this image to the bitmap so that we can uh, predict. So we will use this code for that. So first of all, click on this URI, click Alt Enter, import the class and similarly for media store, click Alt Enter and it is going to store import the media store class. So what we are going, what we are doing is we are using media store and we are getting the bitmap from this URI, which is uh, stored in this data variable. Okay. So now we have bitmap. Uh, okay. So now we will resize the bitmap. Okay. So we will uh, now code the functionality for the predict button. So we'll create a button called predict and it's of type button okay so we'll say is it is equals to find view by id r dot id dot button 2 that's it now we'll say predict dot set on click listener and in this we'll pass view dot on click listener all right now in this we will first resize the bitmap so we'll say where and obviously soft type bitmap and we will say bitmap dot create scaled bitmap and in this we will pass this bitmap which we have already initialized over here so we'll say bitmap and in this uh, we'll press comma and we will add the height and width of the image to be resized so if you come to this mobile net uh, quant dot tf light and in this you should see our model uh, predicts the image of 224 by 224 by 3 color channel so we will say it has height of 224, 224 and filter will set to true. All right, all right, all right. Now we have resized image. Now we will just use this model. So anyhow, if you just got rid of this, so you can come to this project. And if you double click on this, it will going to uh, open back this tab. Let me just show you something like this. Okay, so now come over here and just copy this code right over here and uh, click alt enter over here and then instead of context let's pass this and instead of tensor buffer we will say alt enter import the class similarly import data type import and we will import second one okay so now the last thing you have to do is over here you should see this red byte buffer so we will have to create byte buffer uh, image from this resized bitmap so we'll say where uh, let's say t buffer tensor buffer okay so we'll say tensor tensor image dot from bitmap and in this we will pass resized obviously and now we will say where byte buffer byte buffer and it is equals to t buffer buffer okay so now uh, this red error should have been removed okay so now in this output features zero our uh, output prediction exist so now we will just have to replace this text view to the prediction so we will say first we will just initialize the text view over here let's say not over here let's just initialize it over here inside the on create function so we'll say where tv for text view it's of type text view and it is equals to find view by id in this will pass r dot id dot text view hmm. okay so now in this we have the text view now we will set the text view so we'll say tv dot set text tv dot set text now we will have to convert this output feature to string so we'll say output features zero dot float array so we will first convert this to float array and we will have to select one one index so as you know it consists of 1000 values a lot of values so we will just uh, get the maximum value using the function which we will going to create in a bit so for now let's just say i want to get the value of 10th index now we'll convert this to string so we'll say to string so once you run this your program should run that's just for testing purpose so let's just connect my physical device all right i have connected my device let's click on this play button 
okay okay so our app has been built and installed successfully let's uh, click on this select button and let's just select this image of dog my dog and click on predict and it will going to output the 0.0, .0 value obviously it's just obvious so now we will just add the functionality of selecting or extracting out the maximum value index okay so now we are back in android studio and come uh, in this class outside of this on create function we will uh, add another function let's say fun and we will say get max and obviously it will have arr which is array of type float array hmm. and it will going to give us of type integer which is the index okay so we are going to start the function okay so now we will first iterate in this function okay so first let's just create a variable let's say index so we'll initially set this to zero and let's just also add var of type minimum and set this to let's say 0, 0.0 and f obviously to convert this to float hmm. so now we will iterate in this so we'll say for for i in we will start from 0 and we will say go up to 1000 or 1000 yeah go up to 1000 and now i will going to iterate from 0 up to 1000 okay so now we will say if uh, arr okay so this function will uh, when this loop will iterate it is going to start from 0 and it is going to check if arr at 0 index has the value of highest probability greater than 0, 0.0 then it is going to give us this index so obviously at last uh, ind will be the index at the highest value so we'll say uh, okay so we'll come in this and we'll return the ind which is index okay so now we will have the index of the maximum value so we'll come over here and let's just uh, do one thing let's say where uh, max is equals to yeah get max and we will pass this array output features dot float array and we will say max over here yeah so now if we run it, it like this uh, we will not have a class of the image obviously because this is going to be our integer value so we need to uh, load this labels dot txt file for now so we'll come in this uh but uh, on create function yeah something over here and we will initialize this town list so we'll say where town list yeah so this is going to be a list of type string and we are going to uh, load this labels.txt using uh, application.ss.open and we'll read it using buffer reader and we are uh, splitting at slash n it's just obvious so now we will use this town list so we'll come in this set text function and we'll say town list it is already string so we are not going to convert this to string um okay so if you run it like this you should get an error obviously a dumb error uh, which is because if you open the assets folder uh, you should see we named the file label.txt not labels.txt so remove this extra s from over here and uh, everything looks fine let's just try running this once again so we are back in our app let's click on select and select the image of this retriever predict and it says golden retriever let's go back and uh, select this image it says tiger cat okay it says egyptian cat and i think it is making pretty good predictions for now and uh, yeah this is it for this video if you want to uh, make better gui you can go for it if you want to change the color you can go for it and uh, yeah that's it for this video if you enjoyed this part make sure you give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you in the next video